Hi everyone, I'm just going to quickly show you um, a few ways of using the acrylic skins. So these are acrylic skins in their raw form. As you can see, they're all patterned. Um, and here's another design. All sorts of different patterns in there. Um, some of the things I've made with these are um, this little pendant, uh, this mobile phone grip, um, this pendant, Ooh. so it's like a little unique piece of art that can't really be copied, put into a pendant, a mobile phone grip. You could even get larger size skins and do a whole mobile phone case or mobile phone stand. Bookmarks, the, the options are almost limitless. So here we go with a very quick tutorial of, of an easy way of putting them into um, closed back blanks. You can put them into open backed blanks. Uh, which this is, this was one, that was an open back one. So all I did was I put um, tape there, a little bit of UV resin, let that harden, and then that, that creates a seal, and then you can put your skin on it and then top it. So with this one, it's already got a back. So I've, I've cut out my, um, from my skin, I've drawn around the item. You can use scissors, you can use scalpels, you can use anything. I find little pins are useful for marking. Um, all sorts of ways, you'll just get used to the way that works well for you. Once you've got it to the size that you want, um, you want it to sort of stay sitting down because you, you don't want the um, resin when it goes on it to lift any parts. So acrylic paint is actually a very good adhesive. So I just put a tiny little bit on my finger. I usually try and match either the colour of the skin or the colour of the background so that it doesn't stand out too much. It's never going to match perfectly, but, you know, if you've got any gaps, even the tiniest gap, it would look a bit weird if you saw the silver poking through. So I just do that. You can use a brush. I'm just really, really lazy. And, well, not so much lazy as in I... I don't like to create too much waste and if you use a brush and then you've got to clean the brush and all the rest of it so at least this way I can just put it on my glove and then wipe it off on my glove and reuse that piece of tissue okay so that's now going to go in there I'm going to position that where I want it it's a little bit fiddly but again with practice you will get used to it now um this is where these toothpicks come in very handy because they will let you push it in, push it down, move it around a little bit. Put that in there. Push it down onto the acrylic. Give it a nice press with your fingers. Get any bumps and bubbles out that you want to get out like so and then with your UV resin I'm using a Vista product which I, I really enjoy using this it's the best UV resin I've personally ever used make sure your lamp is off because if you have your lamp on when you're pouring it will start to cure immediately and you won't have time to move it around and level it out just pop that on there you're going to do at least two layers because I always recommend layers with UV resin just again with your with your toothpick or whatever you want just move that around get the whole thing covered don't do this in direct sunlight but you can do it in a well lit room this is a a sunny room but i'm not particularly in the sunlight if that makes sense so the uv resin won't cure instantly but trust me when i say it cures instantly so you really do want to work in an environment that won't set the resin too quickly get rid of any bubbles that's 
that's good for the first first layer pop that in there chat amongst yourselves while that's curing it literally because we're doing it in layers we're doing it in thin layers so it will cure really fast um what do we think what do we think do we really think it will be that fast should we see toothpick test in a corner where you don't care right solid already so now we're going to do another layer i may do three because i like to dome these but again i like to do it in layers so that it sets nicely if it's easier for you you could put a little bit of tape underneath the little bezel to keep it in place so it doesn't all move around all the time you want a level surface that's really really important because otherwise the resin will set unevenly and it will look wrong UV resin really smells so I either I do usually wear my mask but because I'm recording I can't talk with my mask on so I've got the door open and a window open to get rid of some of the fumes and I'll put my mask on after I finish doing this video when I'm doing my other bits. So there was me telling you to remember to turn your lamp off. And what did I do? I left it on. So it started to set then. I'm definitely going to need to do another layer. So reminder, when you've taken it out, before you do your next layer, turn your lamp off. Or don't do the next layer near the lamp. Either or. It really is pongy. Like I said, I usually wear my mask, so I'm not used to it being this smelly. I've got some skins setting at the moment, um, ready for sale. Some are, some are still drying, so they're not quite ready yet. But there'll be a few going in an album, um, hopefully today or certainly over the weekend at the latest. And they'll vary in prices, vary in sizes. And I will be able to do kind of commission orders so if you've got a particular size you need for a particular project then I can do certain sizes and I can also do certain colour palettes but I cannot guarantee the outcome because um, it's it's not like it's a, a painting. Okay we're going to do another, oh I remembered, another layer to give it its dome. Look at that, my glove's broken. UV resin and making jewellery is so much fun. I love normal resin and the anticipation of the demold and all that, but sometimes it's just nice to make something in 10 minutes and just go, wow, I've made that in 10 minutes. Uh, what's that there? Put a little bit more on here. Once you've done your last layer, remember to put your lid back on your UV resin because the, the actual spout will um, close up, it will sort of dry up in the, in the sunlight or in any, any um, UV light. So with these skins, you're, you're, like I said, you're getting a unique piece of artwork in your jewellery or in your creations, whatever you're putting in. You can even lay it down in coasters, all sorts. You can make collages out of it. Um, yeah, there's there's so many options that you can use with these. There we go. So I'm not gonna touch the top yet because it does need a little bit more drying time, but just to be able to show you the finished result, I don't know if um, the 
if it's a clear enough picture. But as you can see, I've just created a new pendant in, well, 10 minutes, I suppose. And it's not perfect because obviously I was rushing it a little bit just to show you, but I think you can see from this just how versatile using the acrylic skins will be and how pretty the end results are. All right, enjoy.